Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to talk about flow along surface. People have a question about the direction and sometimes they are flipping and doesn't go where you want it. So let's talk about it in this video. Are you ready? Let's get started. We are coming into the front view and I'm going to creating a curve. This curve is actually an arc and it can be any size since we are not going to print this one. And I'm also going to split this arc with the point somewhere around here. So now we got two arc over there. With this arc, I'm going to turn on the control point and move it down like this. So there's a break there. Now to make them into the surface, I would like to select both of them. And coming over to the surface, you have revolve here. Using the revolve, I'm going to do 360 degree and we can get something like that. Since I didn't join those two, they are two different surfaces. Okay, so now I need to apply some sort of a texture into this surface over here. I'm simply going to change this color into the green color here. And then so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so we wanted to apply the texture on it and we want to do the design flat. So a lot of people will use the command create UV curve and then it will come up this area for us to do the design. If you will create UV curve somehow coming into the multiple section, it's not a whole piece. I have a video here. I will show you why is the reason create UV curve is fail. So check on icon on the right top corner that will show you the reason. In this video, we are just going to stick it with the flow along surface. So now I'm going to create something really simple. Let's create something spiral pattern here. So I'm going to use the spiral. I'm going to choose the flat one. And coming over here for whatever size we are going to do right here, you can change the term. I'm going to stay with 1.5 and we are going to create something more like this. Simply, I'm just going to pipe it. Let's go ahead to pipe it for whatever thickness that works for us. All right, so this is our pattern here. I'm going to move this pattern close to where the seam is over there. Let's hide the curve. We no longer need this one. And I'm just going to make a bunch of the copy. The command I'm going to use, it's called linear array. And we are going to linear array this guy, maybe A, maybe 10 of them. I just need more than what I need. And I'm going snapping into the endpoint and stay with the near. So make sure your near is on so they will stay with the same level. Okay, so now I wanted to do something like this that filled in an entire area and those three will be the extra. Now we need to make a reference surface to flow back to this surface. So I'm going to pick up this curve and we are going to use the surface from planar curve and we are filling up this entire area. So in the design right here, I do want them to do all the design possible, stick it on top of the surface. Right now I have half of them is sticking on the bottom. So I'm going to click on the surface and simply just move it down a little bit. So right now it will be, most of the design will be on top of that surface. We still need some to intersect with the original design. So later on we can do the bowling. All right, so now is the question is like, how am I going to flow this into the right direction? A lot of time when you select the object and you want to flow along the surface, it's really important to know which corner is which. Okay, so let's take a look on this one. The corner over here, this seams right here is represent the seams right here. So if you click on this corner and click on this corner, it should be in the right direction. However, I'm going to do something wrong first. I'm going to click on this corner first. And from the target surface, I'm going to click on this corner. So notice that our design, it's in the opposite rotation. As you can see, this is more like clockwise going this way. And this is counterclockwise. It's actually reverse. Okay, so it is stick it out, but it is reverse. Let me do it one more time. If I click on 
this corner. Again, anytime we're clicking on the reference one, we do not want to keep sweeping the corner. So let's click on the bottom right here and see what happened. Okay, so this might be what you get a lot. Now, by clicking that, this corner right here is make it instead of vertical, it going to the horizontal, completely opposite direction. Okay, so sometimes it's hard for us to know where is where. So my suggestion for you is on the surface right now, instead of uh, indicating what the surface color here, I want to see where the surface is facing, the direction. One thing you can do is coming into the direction, you can click on the surface, it will show this direction is facing up. If we are clicking in this direction, we know it is direction is facing inside. So we wanted to flip it and then we will get the correct direction. Or we can actually tell by the color. If you're coming into the option, and I'm in the ghost view right here. So coming into the view here, I pick up my ghost view and coming over to the bottom. Right here you have the object color and that is whatever that you assign to the layer or specific object color. In the back is using the same face color with the object color right here. I'm going to change to single color right here. And you can click on any color that you want. Let's go ahead to click on something like a light blue color or cyan color here. Click OK. So I'm going to change this back to the layer color so we can see now we have two colors here. Inside is black, outside is cyan color. This one as well, the back is like this, cyan color, the top is black color. So we actually need to flip this guy because this is this target is inside out or we can flip this guy either way. So I'm going to coming over here to flip it by analyze the direction and on the top right here we can flip it and hit enter. So now you can see this cyan color is on your texture side. So let's do one more time. Flow along surface and we want to flow all the texture right here. We want to click on this corner here and coming over here to click on this corner. So now it should be in the right direction for counterclockwise with your design. More of my model secret and video can be found on the membership program. It has a lot of uh, only member can assess video. Hope I can see you there. Thank you for watching and see you next.